this one is 3.2 here we have a cantilevered beam on which there is a weight hanging right here and there is this overhang so this weight is hanging at a distance of a and the total length of this beam is l and we need to complete the shear force and bending moment diagram for this so for this beam we require two cuts here because walking from the left hand side there is a change in force that happens at this point so this is your cut number one and this is your cut number two here so let's draw the heavoy diagram for cut one so for cut one the left part is going to be with your shear force going up this way your bending moment coming here and on this side there will be reactions coming from your support okay so this is r and this is mz now for the same cut if i look at the right part here we have this force w right here your shear force and bending moment acting in this manner now in terms of distances your cut is always made at a distance of x so this is x right here this total distance is l minus x since this weight is at a distance a from this side and this distance is x already so this is a minus x right here now considering all the forces it seems easier if i analyze this one right here because we do not know the value of r and mz here so doing a force balance on this again we get v plus w equals to zero so this gives us value of shear force as minus w and your bending moment mb if i take moment about this point is going to be mb plus w times a minus x equals to zero or your mb value is w x minus a now since all of this is coming from your cut one i can denote this as v1 and this one as mb1 right here now let's look at your cut two for cut two again if i draw free body diagram so let me write here this is for cut one and this one is for cut two now in the cut two following the convention the shear force is going to be this way the bending moment is going to be this way right here now on cut to right hand side there is no force there however on this side we have this force w reaction r and mz here right so again you can clearly see that this is much easier for us to analyze because there is no other force except for v and mb there in terms of distances this again is x wherever you make cut that is x so this becomes l minus x which is not relevant for this problem because if you do the force balance and moment balance for the right part here v is equals to zero and your mb is also equals to zero in this case so let's draw this shear force in bending moment diagram and just for completeness let's call this v2 and mb2 so that this tells you that this is coming from your cut two so if i extend this beam here here in this manner okay i can draw my shear force on this line and maybe bending moment on this line right here whenever you draw shear force and bending moment you always mention your convention so plus v means this right here and plus mb means this for us okay so now in the first cut this is your cut one the value of v1 we have got is minus w so we are going to plot minus w from here to here and v2 value is zero so we are going to maintain it in this manner so if i highlight the boundaries of this so this is how your shear force diagram looks okay now for the moment mb1 is w x minus a now this is valid for cut one so these are the boundaries here i can evaluate this at x equals to zero and x equals to a x equal to a this becomes zero and at x equals to zero this becomes minus w a so i'll start somewhere here and go in this manner this value is minus w a this is zero and your mb2 value coming from here is zero right here so this is how your 
bending moment diagram looks for this way. I have missed out marking the names here. So this one is your Vx and this one is your Mdx.